So today we are delighted to welcome Vicki and to, she's um, offered kindly to do this series for us. She teaches yoga and functional movement uh, online and in the tri-state area. Her classes welcome all levels, including beginners. She's a 500 hour yoga certified instructor, a Franklin Method educator, a Hannah Somatics educator, a movement for senior specialist and a pelvic floor health coach. So Vicki, thank you so much for being with us today. Super. I'm so excited. No, really, I'm quite excited. <laughs> so uh, welcome everyone. Um, movement, whenever you have a chance, sneak in a little bit of movement. <clears throat> We're gonna move our body, all of our joints, muscles, everything that I can get you to move so you can stay functional for a lifetime. It's super important. So when we sit too long, we switch off all of our systems, our cardiovascular systems, our muscular systems, our skeletal systems, our metabolic systems, and we're going to start to kick them on right now. So very simply, begin to roll your wrists. And if you've been sitting at a desk at all, <clears throat> a little simple movement like that, roll them one way, then roll them the other. Yeah. And then roll them back again the other way. And as you do that, you can then start to move your feet. And go on a little walk. <laughs> and then flare your fingers at me like you're going to create a magic spell. And the magic spell is movement. You will create fluidity in your body, health, strength, and flexibility. <laughs> okay, you can keep the feet still a little bit. We're going to hula a little from side to side. You know what I mean by hula? This is where you get your grass skirt on. And uh, you see the coconut tree. The pina colada is waiting for you. And the ukulele is playing. <laughs> so there's no specific way we're doing this. We're just kind of doing a little sideways and something a little bit that you haven't moved in today, something a little unregular. <laughs> and then we can shake that out, shake out the hands, <clears throat> shake out the arms a little higher. Super duper. And then let your arms just gently drop and notice if that little bit of movement made a change in your body and your disposition. So I can feel my heartbeat a little bit more, tingling sensation. It's fantastic. We're going to get it going a little bit more now with breath awareness. So if you put your hands onto your low rib area, and just gently touch around there and see if you can feel breath. Move your ribs out to the side. Give it a try. Take a nice deep breath in. And a full breath out. Shall we try that again? Do you feel the ribs move? And breathing out. Did you know your lungs are underneath those ribs? That low? Wow, yeah, that low. Now let's just put our hands around the chest here and take a few breaths and can you feel the breath expand the ribs here? Do you feel your heart lift? Exhale, can you give a gentle press down? Inhale, feel the expansion. And the exhale, and the press down. Surprise, surprise, your lungs also go way up to here. So you can crisscross your hands over, I'll come a little close to the camera so you can see where my hands are. And right here, just over your collarbones, you, your lungs go even up to here. So let's see if we can take a breath and see if we can fill that area too. Do you feel your body move under your hands? Give yourself another two nice full deep breaths. Expansion and contraction. Wow, so let's put that together. Your breathing can go up to here, out into the chest here, into the sides of the ribs here, but it can also go into the back of the body too. So the arms can relax now, but see if you can fill the whole of that space with breath. Let's go, <laughs> breathing in and breathing out. Take oxygen into every cell. And a full, long exhale gets rid of waste. Empty, empty all the negative thoughts, empty the waste. 
Again, last deep breath in. Full breath out. And you can breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth or the nose. Wow. I hope that's starting to get the energy moving a little bit more in your body. Now we'll add the breath to something with the spine. We have to move our spine three ways every single day. So we can sit with the back away from the chair. Maybe you even take a, like a little walk in the chair and come more to the front of the chair. So you're not now supported with the back of the chair. And hopefully you don't have arms on the chair either, preferably in this sort of chair with no arms. The simpler chair, the better. Hands onto the thighs. Press down a little bit here. And when we take our next inhale, we're going to arch the back and lift the chest, lift the chin. And when we exhale, round the back, chin to chest. And you might slide your hands forward towards your knees. Let's do that again. Inhale, press into the legs, lift the chest, arch the back. Exhale, round the back, tuck your tail up underneath. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, round. Inhale, let the breath lead the movement of your spine. Exhale, let the breath lead. Inhale to arch. Exhale to curl. Feel the lovely motion of your spine, super fluid as you do this. I'm going to take another three rounds, and it's called cat and cow in the chair. All the way from the tail to the top of the head, the spine moves fluidly. And simply. Great, now let's see if we're sitting nice and tall. So we don't want posture to be slumped in the chair. Always a nice, tall, but relaxed spine. Next way we're gonna move the spine is sideways. It's called lateral flexion. Simple way to begin is to let your arms dangle. And then reach down toward the floor and come back up. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Do you still feel your breath is flowing? Yeah. Now, I like to stage the movement. So if you have any injury, you can opt out of any of the stages. So this is pretty simple. It's a nice way to move your spine sideways. But the next level, if you're okay, is to take fingertips to shoulders and then glide the elbow down and the other elbow up. Okay. And you can just breathe in and out as you do that. Or next time your elbows up, breathe out. Inhale to come to center. Exhale, elbow up. Inhale to center. Exhale, elbow up. Inhale to center. And last one this side and center. So the next stage, if you feel okay, is when we go to the side, we'll reach one arm up, one arm down. Really stretch those fingers to the ceiling. It's so good to open the side body. Touch base with fingers to shoulders, and then stretch it out with the arms. If you have a shoulder injury, go back to one of the other levels, because we're gonna do just a few more. Opening up your ribs, ribs like an accordion. <laughs> it feels good to move. Okay. Now we'll bring the hands back to the shoulders. The third way that we need to move the spine every day is in rotation. So rotate your spine to the right and to the left. Exercise works better if you smile, by the way. <laughs> if we breathe and smile, we're, we're probably doing something right. If you're scowling and frowning, maybe something hurts, please always back off, listen to your body. And just a few more, getting the spine lubricated, also massaging your organs. <laughs> and then we'll pause, twisting toward the right, and maybe you hold the chair. Pause in the twist here, turn your head to look over your shoulder. Give yourself three nice, full, deep breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. Cleansing breaths. Ah. And again. Super, come in through center. Just massage around the belly before we do the other side. So what's happening when we hold that twist and breathe well? We're massaging all of our internal organs. 
super important for good health, good digestion, good metabolism. Are we ready to go the other side? Come on, let's do it. So hold your twist into the other direction. You can hold the chair if you need to. Then the head, there's the most turning in the, in the neck, the head. Turn to look over your shoulder. And once you feel all of your spines comfortably placed into the twist, give yourself three really full conscious breaths, very cleansing. And each breath gives a little squeeze to the organs, which helps create a nice fluid around the organs so that your organs move and operate much better in your body. And again, Wonderful. Turn back in towards center. So we've moved our spine in the three key ways, which is flexion and extension, side bending and rotation. But sometimes our spine wants to move in a completely, I don't know, random way. That would be useful too, very spontaneous. So we're going to do a little push out and move the spine, move your body in different ways. So we're thinking of push. And you can push high, you can push low. Make sure you're breathing. Breath is always flowing. And that creates a different action than if we pull. So then pull from different directions. And the breath is flowing. <laughs> Super. We're doing a lot of work for the core here. Everybody talks about the core. You're training it right now. And of course your arms too. Lovely. Start to gently slow that down a little bit and we'll take the legs a little wider, come forward and begin to make a nice circle. Oh, that feels great. I hope it feels great. So if it doesn't feel great, slow it down. Well, don't do it. Let's circle in the other direction. Can you feel your weight shift from one butt cheek to the other? We're just tuning into what's going on in the body. Wonderful, then we'll lean into the right, right elbow into right thigh and circle your left shoulder. This will lubricate the joint. Open up some flexibility, range of motion, increase. So now we'll play a little bit breathing in and swoop your wing open, turn to look at your hand. Breathing out, tip the hand toward your knee that your elbow is on. Breath in. Turn, open the wing, breath out, touch down. Breath in, open out. Breath out, reach and touch the knee. Two more like that, opening up the wing, head turns. Breath out, touch down. And last one, open it up and touch down. Isn't that easy? Super duper. And you're doing so well. I can see you're following it. So I must be saying something. Okay. <laughs> so let me try the other side. So not too much weight down, still a lift of the spine a little bit, but we're going to circle the shoulder. And uh, you have this fluid called synovial fluid in your joints. And the more we move, the more liquid and fluid we become. Someone asked me the other day, why do we get stiffer as we get older? Why do our muscles get stiffer? Well, maybe we don't use them. And that's the problem, right? So we want to lubricate the joints so the muscles can move freely. And let's do that now. So breathing in, opening your wing, turn your head to look. Breathing out, swoop your wing down to your knee. Breath in, open your wing. Breath out, swoop and touch the knee. And again, breath in. And breath out. Two more, breath in. Breath out. Breath in. And breath out, wonderful. Come back into center. You can bring your feet back to about hip distance apart so they're not bolted together, but a little bit of space between them. Fingertips to shoulders. We'll do a little more for the shoulders to get those juicy joints. So we're gonna make some nice circles with the elbows. And taking little movement breaks throughout your day, it really, really is important. And I'm going to show you some little movement breaks that you can do at any time watching the TV. Let's go the other direction. So this is one of them, right? You could be watching a movie or something. So I'll just move my shoulders, juice my joints. 
<laughs> Good, lovely. Release the shoulders down. Let's take a breath in, lift the shoulders to the ears. Breath out, let them down, side down. Breath in, lift shoulders and ears together. Breath out, oh, release it down. We're gonna do one more like that, breath in. Oh, bounce the shoulders back and down. Okay, now we'll lift the shoulders up, roll them back and let your shoulder blades lie down your back. Now forward, up, back and down, rolling the shoulders in a big circle. I wonder if you can feel your shoulder blades move on the back when you do that. And I hope you've got air going in and out of the nose or mouth. Super. If you hear crickle crackles, the movement will help send that away. I can hear crickle crackles in there. So we've moved quite a bit now with the spine and the shoulders. I think we need to do something for the lower legs because we're going to be getting up and down out of the chair to reboot systems. And I want this lot warmed up. So first of all, we'll take one foot forward. Doesn't matter which one, and you can point and flex. I think this is a bit like you know, putting your foot on the gas and taking your foot off the gas. And then we can do the same with our wrist as well. We have the arm out and we point the fingers forward and down. Okay, let's switch that to the other side. Very simple, you can just begin with the foot and then add the wrist. It's like we're waving or patting a dog with the hand on the foot. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know if you heard that crack. That was, uh, that was me. <laughs> All right, put that foot down. Let's go back to the first side. And just the foot, we're going to circle. And uh, this is another one of those mini movement exercises where we move our feet and it creates uh, a pumping action to get the blood back to the heart. Let's circle the other way. So your muscles in your calf act as like a heart muscle almost. We don't want to have the blood pooling from too much sitting. Shall we do that on the other side? So we'll circle, getting the ankle mobile. That's really important too when we walk so we don't trip and fall as we get older. And you can circle in the other direction. Yeah, super. Now bring both feet down, give a little stamp. We'll get blood to the capillaries, the very tiny little veins, and sorry, tiny little arteries at the bottom of the foot feet, tiny little blood vessels, super. And then just notice, sitting up tall, sensation in your feet. Do you feel there's activity? Next off, we're going to the knees. So the first thing I like to do with my knees is just rub over the knees. And this is an excuse to get my hip joint moving as I come forward and back. I'm afraid if I can see an excuse to move, I'm gonna do it. And we want the knees to feel warm and available so we can stand up and sit down. So often people complain to me and say, oh, my knees hurt when I get up and down out of the chair. And this will help warm them up and lubricate them. You can roll some nice circles around them. Good. And then the next key joint we have to do, actually, you know, we'll do a little more. We'll kick the leg as well. So one at a time, activate the knee joint. And then we'll move on to the hip joint. Where's the hip joint? So that's in the hip crease right in here. And one way we can find that and warm that up is to take one leg, bend it in and bring it towards you. And we'll do that a few times warming up the hip joint right in here. And we're really sneaky because we're using our strong arms to help us do that, which is easier than just lifting the leg. Now let's get some circulation in that joint like with, the, with the shoulder, it's a ball and socket. So make it roll, rock and roll. Can you make a nice scoopy motion, rolling the ball in the socket? We can turn the direction the other way. Super. Excellent. Then we can take the leg out to the side, roll down and we fold out the hip joint as if you're peeling off a stocking or a sock. Now peel up the sock and then bring the leg up and back with you. There we go. All right, so let's try that on the other side. First of all, getting the hip joint nice and Oh, you know what? Did we do the knee on that side? I've forgotten. No, we did do the knee. Okay, so hip joint, I think. Yeah. 
So I'm going to little hinge of the hip joint here. Make sure you're breathing. Very foldable. And then we'll do some circles. So scoopy circles, again, creating synovia, fresh synovia in the joint. And check in, the breath is going in and out. Circling in the other direction. Super. And then we're going to take the leg out to the side and then roll down, down, down. Maybe you tickle your toes. And you can come all the way back up. Lift the leg with you, bring it back. I think we're just about ready to do the thing that reboots all of our systems every day if we do it. And we do do it. And that's get up and down out of the chair. But if you want a quick reboot, you've been sitting for too long, simply get up and down out of the chair five times or maybe more if you feel like it. So we're going to have a target today. Let's see. Make it simple. It's the first class in a series of getting up and down out of the chair five times. So to do this, <clears throat> we'll actually we'll warm up going rocking a little back and forth. And maybe you notice that as you come forward, that your pelvis widens a little bit. And as you come back, it narrows. So you've got a nice white pelvis and then it narrows. You can also feel that your feet are gonna have to plant down into the ground to get up. <laughs> so that's the next thing to be aware of. And I'm gonna say, ready, steady, go. And then we're gonna get up and down five times. Are you ready? Steady, go, let's get up. Lovely. And then slowly sit down. Slowly. No plop here. Nice and slow. Good job. That's very nice. I can see that. And again, getting up. Slowly coming down. Nice and slow. That's where the work comes in. We've got three more to go. Let's go. Getting up. And slowly sitting down. Nice, relaxed shoulders. Two more. We've got this. Nice and easy. And one more, getting up. And slowly sitting down. <clears throat> well, I was a little naughty because that's not actually the last one. Because we're going to do some standing movement around the chair. So we actually do have to get up one more time. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Let's get up. And I'm going to move the chair just so that you can see me uh, at a good angle. I hope you can see me at a good angle. So now we've got the chair to use as a tool to play with some stretches and some balances. Um, and as we get older, we need to challenge the balance. So that's going to be an important one for us. So the chair is there for you. Um, and I'm going to say, if you don't need it, don't use the chair. But it's there so you know you have it. And the first thing is just to shift your weight side to side. Again, in stages, this is nice because you'll be loading the muscles and the bones when you shift the weight onto one leg. It's great against osteoporosis, so if anyone has that, fabulous. It's a great way to load your bones and prevent or back off osteoporosis. So now let's shift our weight to the leg that's close to the chair, and maybe you can lift up the heel of the other foot. Maybe you don't need to hold on to the chair, it's up to you but you're just gonna swing the other leg a little out and in. That's nice for the hip joint, which we just warmed up, I hope. <laughs> We're coming into a chair, into a, a yoga pose that is great for balance and it's called tree pose. You may be here with your heel pressed against the other foot and your toes down, or you might like to snuggle your foot actually right onto the shin and you might like to explore letting a few fingers not hold the chair or hold the chair, see what you need to do. Some of you might find you can put the hands, press the hands to the heart. And then can we breathe fully? Excited to be so strong and balanced, like the beautiful trees this spring. Maybe you can focus on a magnolia tree, or you're like a beautiful cherry tree. Breathing in and breathing out. And then let it go. You just built bones, strong muscles, and I hope you breathe. And use your imagination to be something like a really beautiful tree at this time in spring. 
Shall we do the other side or shall I go and have a cup of tea? Uh, no, let's do the other side. Shall we do it? So I'm just going to move the chair across to the other side. You can just walk around your chair. And we'll begin again just by shifting the weight from side to side. Get into a rhythm. And you can kind of do a little bumps a daisy with your pelvis. And again, in stages, if you feel that this is too much of a balance challenge, then doing this is already loading the bones and building muscle. If it's okay, shift your weight now onto this leg and lift the heel of the other leg and just let that other leg swing out and in. This is nice to, again, get hip motion, opening the hip as you take the knee out. And then if you think this is your balance, this is your balance. If you want a little more, snuggle the foot close to the, to the other foot, maybe lift it away from the floor and onto the shin. Check in that you can breathe comfortably and then maybe you don't need to hold on and you can bring the hands to the heart or you can hold on with one hand. And it's okay to waver a little. We're meant to waver, just like the tree. When a wind blows, the tree doesn't stay rigid, it moves. So we breathe and we find our endless roots into the earth. What beautiful tree are you today? Did you do it? <laughs> now you can let it go. So give a little shake of the hands and then we'll shake out a leg. So you can hold the chair and shake out one leg. That's a great way to release tension. And then do the other leg. Again, we're releasing any tension that the legs, muscles might have built from holding. Good job, everyone. Fantastic. Mountain pose, stand nice and tall. Feel the crown of the head lifted toward the ceilings. This is your best posture. And when we have this beautiful posture, we breathe so much more fully. When we're slouched, we can't breathe well and mood it becomes more depressed. So posture will improve mood and improve breath, improve health. And then it's time to do a nice stretch. In yoga, it's called downward dog. Normally we do that down on the floor on the mat, but we can do a really nice equivalent using the chair. I really like this one. So you can hold the back of the chair and then begin to walk your feet back a little bit and take a moment perhaps to bend into the knees, Oopsie. to bend into the knees and just bounce into the knees a little bit. Now the aim of the pose is actually to have straight legs, but I love if you stick your booty out a little bit so that you have the curves of your back. So you don't want to round your back too much, but stick your booty out and then explore straightening the legs just a little bit. You think of a, 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 a right angle shape. We're looking for as much of a right angle as we can. Does anyone feel the stretch at the back of the legs? I know I do. So wherever you feel the stretch, breathe into it. See if you can hold the stretch for three to four breaths. And you look down toward the floor. So you don't need to see me to feel this and to breathe. Now let's bend to the legs again and we'll walk towards the chair. And then lift up the heels, lift up the chest, look to the ceiling. Slowly lower the heels to the floor. So one of those movement breaks I was talking about, you know, we can do lots of exercise and that's nice, but we need mini movement breaks all the time throughout the day. And this one's a super easy one to remember. If you're going to the kitchen, you maybe put the kettle on to have a cup of something or waiting for something to boil at the stove. You can do these simple exercises, calf raises, super important for the health of your lower legs, again, for the heart, because the blood pumps back to the heart and strong legs for walking. So what do we do? Very simply, hold the chair and lift up your heels and feel your calf muscles really strong. Slowly lower the heels. We're gonna do five of these. So five, lift up the heels, slowly lower. 
and four, and three, and two, and one. Well, that's nice, but we're going to put the ankle through a much more full range of motion by pretending to sit in the chair as well as what we just did. I'll show you what I mean. So we lift up, lift the heels, then the heels slowly come down and then we pretend to sit in a chair, sit bones wide across your bottom. Then we go up again, lift the heels and then lower the heels, slowly lower as if you're gonna sit into a chair. And then we're gonna do three more, three, heels down, sit down and two, and we got one more. I think we got one more. <laughs> Lift it up and lower it down. How are those feet doing after that exercise? I hope they survived that. <laughs> okay, so we'll come back into our chair. Let's see how we're doing with the time. Yeah, because we want to squeeze in a nice meditation as well today. Okay, when we sit down. <clears throat> we'll take the legs a little wider again and just come back to one of those nice scoopy circles, getting a full range of motion. How's everybody doing? Is everybody okay? Are we surviving? If you need that little drink of water, it's a good excuse to take a sip. <laughs> exactly. Very nice. Bring the feet gently back in towards each other. And we'll do a little bit of something for the wrists uh, and the fingers, because that's important if you're using uh, devices all day. So, in fact, just give your fingers a nice wiggle. And then we'll do a little open and twirl. And open and twirl. Good. And then opening out the right hand and brush down over the right elbow and the right wrist. And in fact, you can almost give a little squeeze as you use your arm to brush down. So kind of massage the fascia around your forearm. It's nice, especially if you have any kind of carpal tunnel. And then we're gonna brush over and take the fingers and stretch the fingers down. Try to get the elbow as straight as you can as you draw the fingers down. And then take a nice breath as if you were to breathe into the elbow. Ah, and again, nice deep breath. Wonderful. And then shake out the hand. And then show me the hand and then open and close fingers. So you're scissoring the fingers open and closed. And then we'll make like a little claw. Using all of the joints again. Great. Phew, I can feel that in my fingers, my wrist, my elbow. So these joints are not to be neglected either. Shall we do the other side? Or is it time for my cup of tea? You know I'm a Brit, right? So <laughs> I have to have my cup of tea. <laughs> no, let's do the other side. So you can begin just by kind of brushing down the arm. And then even like a little firmer brush down the arm. So I can feel the muscles. It's your big energy generators, your muscles. And then we'll scoop down and draw the fingers down, creating a nice space on the elbow crease there. Big stretch down into the wrist too. And try to relax your shoulder at the same time as you're doing the stretch. And then send your breath into the elbow crease. Hmm. Let's give it a little shake out. And then show me your fingers and open and close. It's looking good. And then like a little claw. So all of the different parts, the joints, the fingers. Excellent. Now let's interlace the fingers and do a little roly poly of the wrists. So again, fluid, you're so fluid. You're a fluid mover. <laughs> then we'll stretch that out by pushing the palms forward. 
You can round your back a little bit here. Burst the bra strap, I was thinking. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then take a breath in and send the arms all the way up, 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 up. Exhale, open it all the way out. Lovely, let's do that again. Interlace fingers, push out, breath in, lift it up. Exhale, bring it down. Now our wings are gonna flap up from the outside up, breath in. And bringing that back, hands to the heart. Let's try that again, breath in. And breath out. We're going to look up as we do that. Breath in, look up. Breath out, bring the hands to the heart and look down. Same thing. Breath in, arms out, look up. Breath out, hands to the heart, look down. And again, breath in. And breath out. Super. Now we're going to use our wings and open the wings and lean forward. Breath in and then arch the back. Look up. Breath out, round in. Breath in, open the wings, chest lifts. Breath out, round your back, fingers touching feet. Breath in, lift. Breath out, wings flap open. And one more to open. And close the wings and gently brings the hands back down onto the lap. So we're starting to calm down, cool down just that little bit now. And coming to focus on the breath again. And on the peace of mind. So now as we breathe in, we can just open the palms and gently take the hands to the side. Lift the chin to the sky. Exhale, chin to chest, hands pressed down, palms down. Breath in, lift the chin, palms up. Breath out, chin to chest, palms down. Two more like that, feeling the neck move. And that lovely full breath, oxygen in. And carbon dioxide. Coming into center. Let's turn our head to the right. And then through center and to the left. Again, turn the head to the right. Even the eyes can go to the right. And then turn to the left. Eyes to the left. Bring your head back into center. Take the right ear to the right shoulder. Stretch out your left arm, reach it back. You can point the fingers back behind you. You might even take your left hand and just gently feel or tap around the chest on the left side. Big stretch down the neck. And then bring the head to center. Sweep that arm across your body. Hold it, catch it at the side here, and then turn your head to the left. Deep breath in, full breath out. Deep breath in, long breath out. Come back into center. Give a roll of the shoulders. Now let's do the same on the other side. Take the left ear to the left shoulder. Reach out the right arm behind you. Maybe point your fingers back. And feel the stretch all along the chest. It's your long too here. You might even gently tap or stroke the ribs here. The long gets that little reminder to breathe in there. Now let's bring the head up to centre. Sweep your right arm across your body. Catch it at the top of the arm. Pull it in towards you. And now turn to look over the right shoulder. Let's find that lovely full breath again. Super. And then all the way back to center and roll your shoulders. Now it's time, I think, to just spend a moment in the moment. So find that lovely seated posture with the feet firmly planted on the floor. If you can, 
have your back away from the chair, but if you feel you really need to, then you can snuggle into the chair, but still keep your spine nice and tall. Feel the feet onto the ground and the texture of the floor underneath the feet. This is grounding, keeping us in the moment. With your hands on your lap, let your fingers feel the fabric of your clothes. Feel the way that your bottom and your legs contact the chair. Grounding yourself in this moment. You can have your eyes open or your eyes closed. Now you might notice the breath moving in in your nostrils. Cool air coming in. And slightly warmer air coming out. See if you can keep your focus on the air coming in and out of your nose. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. Breathing in, I breathe in deeply. Breathing out, I breathe out slowly. Breathing in, I breathe in deeply. Breathing out, I breathe out slowly. Aware of my body, I breathe in. Relaxing my body, I breathe out. Aware of my body, I breathe in. Relaxing my body, I breathe out. Present in this moment, I breathe in. At peace in this moment, I breathe out. Present and at peace. Present and at peace. Simply bring the palms of your hands towards your heart center. Feel the connection, the skin touching. And you might press your thumbs to your heart and catch the beat, the rhythm of your heart. Honoring our body with an affirmation. Health wellness and joy of life today. Health, wellness and joy of life today. We treasure that in our hearts, health, wellness and joy of life for today. And I'll say namaste or thank you for coming to the first of this series today. Um, I hope to offer something very different in each class so I don't usually follow the same routine there's something for you to try something I hope for everyone to try and I hope you've enjoyed moving taking a movement break and getting joints and muscles and all of the good stuff moving 